Namaste. In our Alpha Mind Power system, I have taught so many different meditations in various classes. And many of our Alpha Siddhas have attended many classes. They have done all these meditations. But still, sometimes people do come and ask me. They say, so many meditations you have taught us, but I am not able to meditate regularly. So what should I do? And uh, that is a question which comes up very often. And uh, today I thought I should give an answer to that and give you some way of uh, ensuring that you practice meditation every day because learning meditation is only one part of it. Practicing is the most important part and that is where you see the benefits also. So to meditate regularly, we have to train our mind. That is the most important thing. And how do we train our mind? We prepare and train our mind. First of all, by allotting a time for meditation. Otherwise, if we say, I will get up in the morning and meditate, sometimes you may sleep a little more, maybe half an hour more. And then when you get up and see, then the mind says, oh, it's already 6.30, I cannot meditate. So instead of that, fix a time. You say from 5 to 6, I'm meditating or 6 to 7 or 6.30 to 7.30, something or half an hour. Whatever you think you can allot as time for meditation, you allot it in your mind. This is the time when I will meditate. And that way when you allot, the mind is more prepared to get up and get ready. So get up and uh, refresh yourself, have a face wash, brush your teeth, do all that in the morning and then sit down to meditate. Now when you sit down to meditate, you can sit on a chair and meditate or you can sit on the floor. That is the best. Some people try to sit on the bed and meditate. That is not advisable at all because when you sit on the bed, even if you sit with, in a cross-legged uh, position, Initially, when you sit, you may feel okay, but after a few minutes, what happens? Any bed is a little soft. The spinal cord will start slowly shifting down a little bit due to the pressure and that will result in very bad uh, back pain later on. So do not give room for that. So never sit on a bed. Always make it a hard surface. A hard surface is very good. And if you can sit straight and meditate, that will be even better. But sitting on the floor is ideal. And when you sit on the floor, never sit on the empty floor, always use a mat. It can be a small mat for meditation. You can even sit on your yoga mat and meditate. As soon as you sit down to meditate, the first thing is give an affirmation to yourself. I am going to enjoy this meditation and do the meditation to my fullest satisfaction. With that affirmation, you will start. Now, one factor which always affects our meditation is the energy in which we sit and meditate. And most of the houses for some reason or the other, the energy either becomes very low or it becomes negative also. So if the energy is negative, then meditating there is very difficult. But you will realize that sometimes when you go to a temple and sit down and close your eyes, you immediately go into a meditative state. Or even our classes are like that. Many people have told me. In our alpha classes, they say we go into a meditative state so easily because the energy level is high. But in your own house, many times it may not be like that. So you must ensure that the energy is very good. How can we do that? As soon as you sit down, from the universe, ask for a shower of energy. Those who have done our classes know about the colors. I have spoken there. So you can ask for the colors. Those who have not attended our classes, if you do not know about the colors from the universe, it's okay. Just ask for positive energy. And the moment you ask for a positive energy shower, you will feel a shower of energy coming down. And it will cleanse you. It will cleanse the place around you, the house where you are sitting and meditating. It will dissolve the negative energy. This happens. So do not wonder whether it's happening, just give the command and automatically it happens. After that, another very important point is connect with higher energies. That is very important. And when you connect with higher energies, I always say in Alpha Mind Power, I say Guru, God and Holy Siddhas. When I say Guru, if you have any particular Guru, you have taken initiation, you can think of them. If you are practicing Alpha Meditation, you can think of me. And then God, whichever God you like, whichever God you pray to. So Guru, God and then Holy Siddhas. There are so many Siddhas, especially in India. You can think of any of them or in general you can think of Siddhas. 
So this, the energy of Siddhas is a wonderful energy to guide us on the spiritual path. That is why I say Guru, God and Siddhas. So think about them and you will feel their energy flowing down to you. The higher level of energy. As that energy comes down to you, that itself will take you into a very deep level of meditation. So with that you can also do pranayamam before you begin the meditation. You do pranayamam, any basic pranayamam. I have uh, even uh, uploaded one video. If you just type pranayamam, you will uh, get that video on YouTube. There I have given three basic pranayamams and also the panchabuddha pranayamam to balance the five elements. When you do all these four, by the time you finish the panchabuddha pranayamam, you would already be in a very calm state. And there you can practice simple breathing for a little while. Simple breathing, inhale, exhale. When you inhale, relax, let the stomach come out a little bit. When you exhale, let the stomach go in and you exhale. So this breath, you would just practice 10 times, 20 times. Simple, soft breathing, slow breathing. Automatically, you will go into a very calm state of mind. And you will become ready for meditation. And that is when again you connect with Guru, God and Siddhas with the higher energies. Feel that energy continuously flowing through you. And then only you will start the meditation. Now the meditation can be a guided meditation. If you, uh, ours are all guided meditations in the Alpha Mind Power System. So you can listen to my voice, the instructions are there. You can keep the meditations on your mobile or any small equipment because today CD players nobody is using. So some small equipment near you, quickly you can just switch it on. Keep the meditation open and ready. Just switch it on at this point. And then be in that state. Let the energy keep flowing to you from the Guru, God and Siddhas. And listen to the meditation. Slowly you will move through the meditation. If you do not want to follow guided meditations, then this energy itself will take you into a deep level of meditation. Enjoy that energy, be in that state for some time. It can even help you to reach the samadhi state. It's very easy to experience it. So just let the energy flow through you and feel that energy, feel very happy. Because you have done pranayama that cleanses your nadis, cleanses your chakras and also your aura. So that with that level of energy, when you do the meditation, automatically you go into a deep state. Enjoy the meditation and once you have completed the meditation, if it's a guided meditation, once it is over or if you're meditating on your own, once you feel like coming out, you just come out a little and that is when the energy is still with you, remain at that level and visualize your goals, whatever goals you want in life. Or if you wish to talk to somebody's subconscious mind, you can do that. You can visualize healings also at this level. Your energy level is so good that whatever you do at that state, your subconscious mind is open. You can function at a very powerful state of mind. So meditation becomes easy if you prepare yourself for it properly. Follow all these steps. You will start enjoying your meditation. Meditation is when you are with yourself. So never let that go away from you. Enjoy meditation every day.